Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Web Design Quick Tips. In this week's episode I'm going to be showing you how to keep it safe and create a new backup of your website using the Backup Buddy plugin from Plugin Buddy. So as you can see here I've just installed Backup Buddy and in order to start the backup process I simply find the Backup Buddy tab in the WordPress menus, open it up and click Backup and Restore. If I want to create a full backup I simply click Full Backup. Backup Buddy goes through its processes of settings, database, and file export, and as you can see, I get a green check mark at the end indicating that the backup was successful. I can also see that the archive size is about 20 megabytes. I can then download the zip package to my hard drive or simply go back to the backup page. There's my newest backup that I've just created. It tells me when, how big it was, the status, and what type of backup it was. If at any time I get confused on any of these parts, I can go to the tooltips and they'll explain exactly what I'm looking at. Now, what if I want to set up my website to backup every day at a certain time? That's easy too. Just go to scheduling. And inside of the scheduling, I can say name for backup schedule. So I'll call this daily DB. And I'll say the backup type is a database only because DB for database. Backup interval, I want to do this daily and date and time of next run. In this case, I'll just pick a date and I can also choose a remote backup destination like Amazon S3, Dropbox, Rackspace, FTP, or email. I'm not going to set this up right now. I'll just go ahead and hit add schedule. Once I do that, now every day at this time, Backup Buddy will perform a database only update to my WordPress installation. Pretty quick and pretty easy. And it also helps keep me safe so that anytime something goes wrong, I can always restore back to the settings that were good. So that's it for this episode of Web Design Quick Tips. If you have any questions or comments, as always, you can post them on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash webdesigncom. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash webdesigncom. And you can also find us on Twitter. We're at webdesigncom. So thanks, everybody, for watching this episode of the Web Design Quick Tips podcast. My name is Justin Seeley, and I'll see you next week.